Okay, gentlemen. I have some very serious things to say. <laughs> serious. What, what, we've been, um, what we've been learning in the Nefesh HaChayim, Perik, particularly uh, Perik Yud Aleph, Perik Yud Beis, Perik Yud Gimel, and uh, today we're going to start on Perik Yud Dalad, is, in my opinion, a complete mahapecha, it's a complete turnaround in what tefillah even is. Um, our, our, um, our basic idea of tefillah is that we stand in front of God, that's, that's something, you stand in front of God and you ask Him for whatever you need and people will walk away with a question is, why didn't He answer me? <laughs> I asked twice already, <laughs> three times. Um, and some people give the trite answer, he did, you know, God is not listening, he is listening, he did answer, he just said no, people give that kind of an answer. Um, I, I, I believe that if you get to the emas of it, it's, it's a really a much deeper um, thing. And what we've been learning, the words, the key words to keep in mind, um, we've been learning over the last number of uh, weeks really, is that tefillah tzorach gavoyahu. That tefillah is not for us. The whole idea of prayer is not for us, as everybody thinks. That's probably why most people come to shul or daven or for us, you know. But, um, tefillah is l'tzarech gavaya. Tefillah is for Hashem. As if to say Hashem needs something. And that's really what we're struggling with to philosophically even to try to figure out. So I'd just like to um, say the following. Uh, in order to go further, something which sort of became clear in my mind. Uh, tefillah, uh, the Gemara says that tefillah keneged karbonos tikno. That at the time of the Beis Hamikdash, we brought sacrifices, karbonos, and now thank God we don't have to walk to the old city with animals and kill them and slaughter them. We dab it. Tefillah, kenegen, karbanos, tiknum. The Rabbab explains that why would we bring karbanos? What, what are we bringing karbanos? It's a carbon, it's such a strange idea. Um, so he says, the Rabbab Kedarko, he says that that was what the pagans did and um, it would be too difficult for the Jews coming out of Egypt to do something which was so different than what they've been used to for all those years. So therefore, Hashem sanctified the idea of bringing a sacrifice and said, you do it too. And according to the Rabbah, there's even those that want to say that when Mashiach comes and the Beis HaMikdush has returned and all that, there might not be Karbanas as we know them. I don't think that that's true, but the Rabbah wrote a whole Hilchus Beis HaBechira. <laughs> He wrote a whole section of the Rambam about how to build the base of Victors and how to bring Karbanas. So it's not true. But I'm not, I don't want to talk about the Rambam now. The Ramban um, comes along. This is at the very beginning of Vayikra. And he says that uh, it's in, in languages that you, you, you very seldom hear, and you hear strong languages of the Ramban against the Rambam. But the Ramban, Nachmanides, Ramban, uh, like really like beats up the Rabbah and, and says, what, Karbana? I mean, how could you say it has to do with pagans? Uh, Cain and Hevel brought a carbon. Noah brought a carbon. Uh, Abramovinu, Yitzhak, Yaakov, uh, before there were pagans, there were sacrifices. It can't, it can't be. And so let's leave the Rabbah aside because uh, it would be possible uh, to give one or many shiur about just explaining what the Rambam is saying as, uh, why, and why he's saying what he's saying. But um, the Ramban says, and remember our backdrop, the backdrop here is that what tefillah is bimkoim karbonais. Now that we don't bring karbonais, we do tefillah. The Gemara says, can I get avois tiknum? Can I get karbonais tiknum? And the, the poiskim, the Rishonim say both are true. Both are true. So when we, um, yeshivasha people, when we say that the tefillahs are connected karbonas, we usually refer to the zman. 
just like there was a time, uh, the day where you bring a, a, tfilis, tub and shul, a carbon tub and shul shachar, you have a shachar. Just like there was a carbon tub and shul uh, mincha, carbon mincha, you, you bring, you have a mincha. Uh, oops, there was no carbon of marav, tfilis, arvis, rishus. <laughs> you, you, know, you know, that was like a, an add-on. <coughs> What, what I want to explain here, which is, uh, I think, I think uh, borrowed push it, everybody will agree that it's push it once you think about it, it's not just a question of spot. Your tefillah, when we sit down to David, tefillah is a carbon. It, it's, it's not that it's just connected karbonoi stiklu, that it's the same zman as the carbon. It is a carbon. We, we don't bring a carbon, we rather David, which I believe, by the way, is the shot in the Rambam yeah. also. It's, 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 a, it's a form of davening. How, how is it a form of davening? I'd like, I'd like to explain. A tfila, how is tefillah, rather, a form of carbon? We need to explain. But they're not independent concept. If there would never have been the idea of a carbon, I'm saying something startling now, um, so be startled. If there was never such a thing as a carbon, there would never be such a thing as a tefillah. We don't bring a carbons, so what we do in its place is we pray. Didn't they do both when we had carbons? Maybe. They brought a carbon and they prayed at the carbon. That's part of bringing the carbon is the prayer. Um, Kain and Hevel. That's what I said. Did you come late? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> um, <coughs> let, let, me, let me say this. Um, the, the, in Pirkei Avos it says, uh, The world stands on three pillars. Tyra, Avoida. And Kibbilas Chasad. What's Avoida mean? There we go. Karbanas prayer. You see it? <laughs> what does Avoida mean? <coughs> a carbon is Avoida. Tfilish Avoida. Bechol Lavdai Bechol Levavachem. Ezu Avoida Shebelev. How do you bring a carbon with your lave? That's the, that's, the, that's, the, that's the question of the Gemara. Ezu ha'voida shebelev. Ha'voida means carbon. Ezu ha'voida shebelev. How do you, how in the world do you bring a carbon with your life? The answer is utfila by David. <coughs> Changes the whole idea of davening. Everything is different. Al shleish advar ba'elam oimed means avoida. Avoda means what does avoda mean? What does it mean? How do you want to translate avoda? Easy, Service. easy, service. Subservience. Being an avid. The sherish of the word avoida is being an avid. It's not malacha. It's, it's avoida. An avoda is an act of subservience, servitude. An act of avdus to Hashem, um, which we'll explain. So when we're talking about avoda, it really doesn't make any difference whether it's a carbon, if we understand a carbon, or whether it's tefillah. They're both avoda. They both fall into the avoda. Is that, is that Torah? Let, let's understand. Torah, Torah, we're learning Torah. Torah is something that was passed down to us, started in Shabbayim. Hashem passed it down to us. Avoda is not something which comes from up to down, it's something that goes from down to up. We're doing this. Chesed's going this way. It's going horizontally. Horizontally, right? So, Torah, up to down. Avoda, that's what the word means. Down to up, like an evan. Down to up, this is what we're offering. This is what we're doing. This is, what, this is how we are serving you. Kabilas chesed is three. So when you see the three pillars of, of the world, it's up to down, down to up, and side to side. Torah, Avoda, Milas Chasadim. The, the, the main, the Rabban says this, I'm going to read to you the Rabban inside. 
But the Rabbat says the following, that of all the different sacrifices that were ever made in the, in the, in the history of the Jewish people, the history of the Torah, the main sacrifice, which we point to over and over again on Yom Kippur and every single morning, is the Akedah. The Akedah, Avraham, this was, you know, there's the ultimate sacrifice where a person gives up his life. And then there's the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice where you give up your child. I was, say, I was saying to uh, somebody, uh, this baby died yesterday in a, in this terrorist attack, but uh, the, the mother, she should be good. So uh, the, only, the only thing she remembered from the whole thing is they heard noises of bullets and her husband jumped in front of the bullet to take the bullet for his wife. So, you know, so first I thought to myself, wow. Yeah. I couldn't help but thinking when I jump in front of a bullet, I don't want to go there. <laughs> when, I, when I jump in front of a bullet, would I take a, would I take a bullet for, <laughs> yeah, I think I would. Um, but she's pregnant yet, you know, she's pregnant, there's a child. Not just two, it's uh, the, the, any, any, any continuation that I'm going to have. So, you know, like, so there's the ultimate sacrifice. Look, look what you have there. Torah, avoidah, kabilas chasodim. I'm willing to give up myself. Kabilas chasodim. And the ultimate sacrifice that, that he, he, he didn't want to make was, was his child. But what I'm just saying is a bushel. The, the Akedah was the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice, which didn't happen. He didn't give up his son. But everything happened except for the sacrifice itself. Yeah? Like everything happened. And, and we need to think about that. The, it, the, the Chazal says as follows, that at the moment of the Akedah, when Avraham Avinu said, okay, which is altogether something which we need to pay attention to, okay, so I'm not going to sacrifice my son. Amalek told me, don't do this, don't sacrifice your son. What did he do? He took a ram and he sacrificed it. Ubazeh. And at, instead of tachas, tachas, the key word here is tachas. At that moment, say Chazal, Medrash Rabbah, Hashem, was, at the beginning of Vayikra, Hashem created the carbon tabit shel shachar and carbon tabit shel mincha. It's hafla vavela. That, that's the makar, that's the source of our karbonos. <coughs> it means that really what should have happened is the ultimate, ultimate sacrifice. Instead of that, Avraham Avinu brought a, a, an ayel, which you could look as, at as almost um, trite in comparison, but it's not. If that's, if that's the correct uh, kavana, Hashem said, that works, and now let's get the whole Kla Yisrael to bring carbon, tabit shel shachar, tabit shel ben harabai. So karbonus. I'm just not getting, I'm not onto tefillah yet. I'm onto karbonus. What is a carbon? A carbon and is self-sacrifice. You're not sacrificing a lamb. It's self-sacrifice, without sacrificing yourself. Should have been. It, it, in the case of the akeda, it should have been a human sacrifice. God forbid. But it, it is, it's ironic because the Jews throughout history have been the crusaders, for lack of a better word, of anti-human sacrifice. No, no such thing, no such thing. We're anti that, we, we, the whole Torah is against that. And, and that's because, I'd like to posit, we saw from the Akedah that it was unnecessary. You, you, could, you could sacrifice yourself without sacrificing yourself. If sacrifice means Sacrifice. Think about sacrifice. Sacrifice, self-sacrifice. Doesn't necessarily mean you're jumping in front of a train. It doesn't mean you're taking a bullet. Maybe if necessary, you know, you do it. But but the the well, you do what you got to do. You know. But sacrifice means I'm completely subservient to Hashem. That's what a sacrifice to Hashem is. What Avraham Avinu demonstrated with the with the Hakravas Ha'ayel is that a sacrifice can be 
there, it, has to, it has to manifest itself in a physical world, but it can be a self. He went through all of the movements. He went through all the emotions. He went through, he, he suffered the loss. It was the same trauma, except that there was no human sacrifice. So why are we against human sacrifice? Because we didn't do human sacrifice. It's a Kiddush. Let me just I'll tell you what the Ramban says, and then we'll understand. Taira Avoida Ogmilas Chasana, why Avoida is Karbanois, and why Avoida is Tfila. So the Rabbad says, quoting his Lashon, Kimaisa Beneha Adam Nikmarim Bimachshava Ubedibor Ubamaisa. A person, a human, um, what, what, are we, what are we doing here? Three things. <laughs> Three things we can do. Machshava, we think. Machshava, Dibur, we can talk. Uh, right? Uh, lions don't talk. Bears don't talk. Snakes don't talk. Now, uh, we talk. And mice, and we, do so, we can do stuff. Machshava, Dibur, and mice. That's kol ha'adam. Can I get, as we've learned many times, nefesh, ruach, neshama. Nefesh, ruach, neshama. Uchol nafshechem. Keep it, keep it by. Ma'isim le'adam nigmarim, a complete, a complete human action is defined nigmarim b'machshava u'b'dibor u'b'ma'isa. Tziva Hashem, so therefore, it's lost the Rabbah, Hashem commanded, ki kasher yechte, that if a person should violate their purpose in life, do a chet, break the rules. V'yavi karbon, and he brings a car, but what's happening here? It says the Ramban, Yismaich Yadav Alav. First thing you do is smicha. Smicha means you take the animal, something that nobody, <coughs> including myself, understands what's going on with those karbanas. As I said before, many of us breathe a sigh of relief that we don't do this nowadays. But uh, um, you take the animal, you put your hands on the animal. Hands. Leaning, the leaning with hands. It says there. Says the Rabban, Kinegana Baisa. That's the Baisa. Hands, action. Viisvada, you have to say Vidui. You say, the Kohen says, whether he's talking for himself or whether he's talking for an individual, whether he's talking for the whole Sibur, Ono Hashem, Chatasi, Avisi, Poshati, Lefonacha. Like we do on Yom Kippur. Ho Yom Kippur is a carbon, by the way. Ho Yom Kippur. <laughs> is that we, everything we do, called Indirect told the Elah, is all because at the time of the base of Mikdash, we brought a carbon. <laughs> That's all. It's all about this carbon. It's all a celebration of the carbon. So, what do we do? How does Judaism work? Uh, we conveniently delete the part about the carbon and we do everything else. No, no it, the whole thing is about the carbon. The whole, if people want to take a little snooze during the Yom Kippur Davi because it's long, when do you go to sleep? During the Avoida. <laughs> That's, the, That's the boring part. So, um, you know, you take somebody like, um, like uh, you know, I, I once had the schus to David with, uh, with uh, Rav Soloveitchik, Olo Vashol, on Yom Kippur, once. Uh, Avoda is when he came alive. <laughs> I mean, he was always pretty, pretty, pretty with it. But I, uh, Avoda, I mean, slow and with tears and with, with happiness sometimes and a whole emotional thing. This was Yom Kippur. This, if you're a Tabu Chacham, if you're a god, also, this is Yom Kippur. The Avodah is the Yom Kippur. Everything else is what you do during the Avodah. I could daven, I could ask, I could, what's happening in Shabbat? Very nice. So, Nisada Toykev Kedusha Sayyom. That's a late, 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 late uh, cover. Nisada Toykev Kedusha Sayyom. Very nice. A description of the day. What's going on in Shabbat? The Iker <coughs> is the Korban. So, says the Rabban, I continue. Hashayechtev Yavi Korban Yismach Yadav Alav Kelegen Habaisa. Vyisvada Befiv, you say. You confess, you, you say, vidui with, with your peh, can I get a dibur? V'yisraif ba'esh. And then you burn it up in a fire, ha'kerev, ha'kloyoyos, the, the, the key organs of the, of the animal. Sheheim kli ha'machshava v'ataiva, that in our world, those key, what are the key organs? The heart, the brain, the kidney. The, uh, the, the, these are the, the, the things that really make us work. It's not about flesh and blood. It's so understating to say, you know, we're human beings. <laughs> I, think, I think about this all the time. Yeah. What, what, 
You know, that's all we have to say about human is that we're being. <laughs> to be or not to be. That's not the question. <laughs> it's, it's, it's what are you doing? What, what's the purpose of our humanity? That's, that's the question. That, that's the question. The Yisrael Beish Hakerav Akloi Yeshev Kliya Machshav Avatayim. Bakroayim. Then we take the animal. Remember, this person is standing by the animal and saying, "You know what? This should have been me." We're taking the 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 the, the, the we're doing a Misa. We're saying Dibur, which is Vidui. We're take we're 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 um, burning the Kerav the 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 inner organs. It has to all be done where? In the Besamikdash, which is the makkum of both Karbanas and Tefillah. Karbanas, Bes Tefillasi, Bes Tefillah is the Besamikdash. You take the legs of the animal and you bring them together, the Karayim. So that says the Ramban, HaKaraim Kenegin Yodav Viraglov Shal Adam HaOisim Komalachtai, that which makes us mobile. <coughs> And then, look how, how far this goes. Then you spritz blood on the Mizbeach. Like, <laughs> who, who, who wants to do this stuff, right? Spritzing dab. It has to do with the dab of your nefesh. All of this is when a person does all of this, the truth of the matter is, now why so harsh? I'm going to explain why so harsh. The truth of the matter is, it's only because of the kindness of Hashem, just like by the Akedah. Hashem said, I spare you, the sacrifice of your son, Baruch Hashem, that's why we're all here, and take it out on the animal. The kafar a korban hazesh ye dabai tachas, dabai nefesh tachas, nefesh tachas, nefesh, nefesh tachas, nefesh. This instead of that, your lashon. Ze tachas ze. No, just as, a, as an aside, I was just uh, watching the, uh, I was watching this video a couple of weeks ago, uh, you know, the Israeli army trades, uh, you know, dogs to be, uh, you know, bob sniffers. Uh, I'm not sure exactly how you do that, but uh, <laughs> obviously I don't know how to do that. But, uh, but the Israeli army knows how to do it. Ad that they, uh, they sell these, uh, these dogs, they trade these dogs and they, uh, uh, they sell them to all over the world. The United States, many police departments use Israeli dogs. They actually sent uh, Israelis to, uh, to America, to Chicago, and to, and to, uh, to Miami to teach the uh, dog operators how to speak Hebrew because the dogs only speak Hebrew. <laughs> you know, shave. But, uh, yeah, yeah. but I, I just I'm, not, I'm mentioning this because it's interesting that uh, the, like uh, why don't they trade them in English? But you know, uh, there's they're, they're you know Israeli dogs, <laughs> Israeli, Israeli dogs, um, and they don't even retrain them in English. Apparently, they just you know that's the way they were trained. Here's the Yanka, so they like uh, not like American Israelis. <laughs> <laughs> you know, they're speaking like a funny kind of an English. They would have to start talking with a funny accent and everything. They just talk Hebrew. So they, they talk Hebrew, the, the six, seven commands that the dog needs to do. And there's a, but, but what's, what's interesting about it, what I want to mention, just as a muscle, a tr part of the whole thing apparently is this a very, very, there becomes a very, very close connection between the, the, uh, the in this case, the soldier or the policeman or the dog um, owner, you know, the one who's using the dog. <coughs> And, and, and the dog, like, it's a sort of very interesting thing, that, you know, when, when in Gaza, when they're sending dogs to go in, so, um, you know, you think about it and you say, well, you know, what's going to happen if this dog encounters a bomb? It goes the dog. And you can see the soldiers, <laughs> machine guns and plaques, plaques you know, they kiss the dog 
goodbye. So it's a, it's a kind of a contradiction, no? like, <laughs> like I love you, <laughs> and get in there, and you know. But the thing is, it's it's uh, it, it, by a uh, crazy kind of a head. It's a kind of a carbon, <laughs> because uh, it's a carbon in the sense that um, that that would be me if it's not you. That would be me. Uh, in that sense, it, it, it's a carbon. Can't bring a a, car, a kelev as a carbon, but um, it, it's it's a carbon of zetah isn't it? No, you agree with me, or is that too crazy for you? <laughs> There's a, there's, a, there's a certain zetah that, that that's going on here. Um, so, um, so that's what a carbon is. So a carbon is, you know, and, and the main word for carbonus throughout the Chumash is ishe reach nichayach lashem, fire offerings. Because the main thing, the main thing is, is the... Um, is the burning part of it. The main thing is that you look, you take the animal, you, we do a very humanitarian shechita on the animal, as we do when we, before we eat supper. Um, you do a humanitarian shechita on the animal, you, you, you take the animal apart. All of this is with the kavana of zet ha um, <coughs> And there's nothing left, and here's the key thing that I want to say, there's nothing left of this animal because even after you, you put it on the mezbeach and you burn it, the main thing is the aish, and then you ended up you end up with a fair with the ashes of the animal. What do you do with the ashes ashes of the animal? But that other mizbeach also. So so the whole thing is to take something and turn it into nothing as much as um, as possible um, from a physics point of view. And this is the idea of ash. Ash is consuming. Fire is a consuming more than water. Water is a destroyer. Fire consumes things. It, bre- it breaks things down to its to its finest to its finest uh, particles. So he says, "Zrika said, 'Vroy lo shi yishpach dabai v'yisrei gufai lulei that v'yisrei kadam alav mizbeach keneged dabai benafshei.' It's it's um." I have to say, as an aside, that I believe that this is not spoken about too much, what we're talking about today, for um, two reasons. One is that I, f- I think it makes people uncomfortable. Um, so if you're uncomfortable. Uh, um, I also, I think that, um, that uh, Lahavdil Christianity capitalized on this and took it to a very, very um, wrong place, uh, the idea of human sacrifice. Human sacrifice and, and dying for sins. This is, but when you understand the Ramban correctly, nothing to do with that. What's happening here is that there's a a, a symbolism of ash. But the, the the main, I'm saying, the key word for avoda is ash. Isha Yisrael. Isha Yisrael. The fire offerings of Yisrael. Meaning that. So, so let me just say the whole thing very simply now. It's it's all about the bittel. A carbon is all about the bittel, and therefore, how we say bittel in English? Self-abnegation. Self-abnegation. Okay, you said that. Uh, <laughs> which we're not doing to ourselves physically. In the case of a carbon, we don't bring carbonus anymore. We don't bring carbonus anymore. But the idea of doing that um, is a complete nullification in front of God, which is why it's called avoda. Avoda is comes from the word evad. If I am your evad, then I have nothing of my own here. Now you might be nice to me. And you might give me everything because I'm a good Eved. But if I am in service to you, if I'm a servant, so the good servant has nothing, Bittal. The, the irony of the whole story is that the better the servant, the better the bedroom. <laughs> the bedroom, the food, you know, like, okay, come eat at the table. But, but the, 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 the idea of subservience, by the way, we have no Kerbanas nowadays and we have no slaves nowadays. Uh, it's, it's very interesting because the concept 
We don't have the concept nowadays of avoda. But self, but self sacrifice is also what he's what Palel is reflexive. So that's the self. So we're going to, that's, that's just, we're going to move on to the segue is to tefillah. Good, good. But carbon. Tefillah is connected, carbon, avoda. The base of dash. Tefillah is called Isha Yisrael. The Siddur Agro is called Isha Yisrael. Isha Yisrael. Huh? I can't hear you. Titus is connected. Titus is connected. Yeah, yeah. I, I think you'll see that everything, in, in, in fact, okay. Uh, but let's, let's, let's segue this to what we do and understand that what we come to shul or at home or wherever you have it to do is almost completely the opposite of what we're meeting to do. What we're meeting to do when we daven, specifically the, 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 the word for, the word tefillah refers to Shemot Esrei. Everything is a before and an after, but tefillah is Shemot Esrei. That the Ache Knesset Hagdola, as we've learned over and over again, we're masakin, so every word carefully and prophetically. So the Iker, the Iker Kavoda, the Iker Avoda of tefillah, when we're doing tefillah is we're bringing a carbon. No animal here. There's no animal here. There's no blood flying around. Uh, there, there, there's, no, there's no fire, really. Although it is interesting how on the Mizbeach, the symbol of the Mizbeach is Eish Tamid, Tukan al Mizbeach, Leisich, but there was always a fire there. There was always a fire burning. And that fire, might, you might see it as a, some kind of a romant, romantic fire, you know, like a, like a, like a fireplace in your suburban home. But, but the Ner the Ner Tamid is the, is the what, there was this Ner, Ner Hashem Nishma it's, it's, it's a symbol of sacrifice, really. It's a symbol of something, except, except for on Hanukkah, it's a symbol of something being consumed. And it's, 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 that's what fire is. It's a, it's a uh, destructive force, which interestingly, fire is a destructive force. You know, you scream fire, uh, but it's also the most constructive force of the world, uh, fire. So it's, it's, this is the irony of Eish, which all the carbonus are called Eish, and all Tzvilois are called Eish. The place of carbonus is in the base of Migdash. The place of Tfila, prayer, is in the base of Migdash. And we daven at Shul because um, Yecheskel Anavi said that the Shul will be a Migdash Ma'at. You can bring, you can bring <laughs> carbonus, and we sing, Bilvavi Mishka Levne. Ve'esh tamid tukad boy, who esh ha'akedah, right? Isn't that the words? Esh ha'akedah. Okay, we'll sing it all together afterwards. But <laughs> it's the whole, the whole, all the words of the song, which come from the Sefer Chassidim, I believe. All, all the words of the song is saying that now move into the spiritual exercise of we are the carbon, and the cool thing about it is that um, after you bring yourself as a carbon, when you dive in chakras, you feel better, not worse. That's, that's, what's, that's what's cool about it. What, do I, what am I doing? So let me just stop ploppling here and say it in one sentence. That, that what we're doing when we're davening is completely, um, a, a complete bittal, complete subservience in front of Hashem. Because, because, um, it, what we need to understand is the most fundamental thing, and that is that when God created the world, the world is not God here and the world there. He expanded his world to the earth. Here we are. <coughs> um, and we're, we're here in this world to do something, everybody to do something else. We have to accomplish something. Uh, we're not here in this world to do something for ourselves. Was it here? Somebody in show yesterday was their birthday. So I, I uh, he said, "Give me a bracha. It's my birthday." So I said, "I don't know I'm about." Supposed to give you. Right. right. <laughs> so I said, "You know what? I, I believe maybe the Lubavitcher Rebbe said something like this. He said, you know, you know what? Your birthday is birthday is the day that Hashem decided that the world can't go on without you.'" <laughs> birthday. I'm here. So uh, I'm here. You know. Like a baby pops out into the world, hi. Baby pops out, looking all around. What am I supposed to do? Uh, 
what are we doing here? Uh, we're here. It's part of this marechet. The minute that I take it, this is so vital to understand, the minute that I put myself in my own little bubble here, and I say, I'm going to protect myself, I'm going to enrich myself, I'm going to make myself happy, I'm going to take care of all my needs, and that's my <laughs> world, my self-centered world. So um, I'm, I'm completely missing the point of being born. I'm not, it's not that I'm like doing something wrong. It's not a matter of wrong or right. It's a matter I just completely missed the point. You're not, You're not a part of the marechet. You know, it's like uh, you, you, you missed the, like you missed the point. If you, even if you would hire somebody to uh, help you in the house, and all they're thinking about is you know how their what their room is going to look like, and what their food is going to taste like, and what their they're missing the key point. You're here as part of the staff, whether you're working somebody's house, whether you're working for uh, um, Apple computer, it doesn't make any difference. There has to be some subservience there. You have to be a company man. That's the whole thing. So if what, what we're doing when we dive in is we're, we're bringing our carbon. The carbon is very, very simple. It doesn't hurt. <laughs> it's, it's not, it doesn't hurt. What all, we, all, all we're saying, all Avraham Avinu was saying when he, when he brought Yitzchak to Har Mario, Shehi Makim HaMikdash, all, all he was saying was, I'm, I'm ready, I understand what I'm here in this world for. No, no, nothing more than that. Wasn't, I don't know that it was a deeper thought. I don't know that he was thinking Kabbalistic thoughts. I don't know what he was thinking, but I'm sure it was nothing I could think of. But, but I think the, on the most basic level, I'm part of a marechet. And I'm willing to understand, I'm willing to accept upon myself that I'm part of a whole world. The world doesn't stop there. The world keeps on going. This world, by the way, is called Malchus. You know, uh, That's a good question. There are two aspects, I think. Avadim and Bani. Avinu and Malkim. It's a very good question. And right now we're talking about the Avadim. <laughs> the Bandim is not part of the is that part of the Shlesh Advarim Shoyel is it? Is no, but Shlesh Advarim Shoyel Avodah. Torah, Avodah. There's a Bandim aspect which we have to learn about in Pirkei It's very important. It's very important. I'm not pushing the question because it's a whole. What happens when your Avid is your son? Or your son is your Evan. It's a very interesting uh, combination. But I don't want to. I don't want to. I just want to say something very simple here. Uh, really, all I'm saying is that the tefillah, when we come to Davin, the tefillah is really connected the akeda. All karbanos chazal say are are derived from the akeda. Early mankind in Hevel, maybe even under Marishan, <laughs> he created kar park. Uh, even under Marishan brought a carbon. Um, everybody understood what are they doing with bringing this carbonus? Why are they doing? Why are they doing this? What are they? They're bringing a sacrifice. So, so the King James has it right. It's a sacrifice. It's not a lot completely right because carbon. What it means? Karav, karov. Very close, but it's a, it's really the same thing. What I'm saying is, I am I'm, I'm, I'm marking. Some people do it three times a day. Some people once a year. Yom Kippur, every, okay, some people all day. But, but the thing is, I'm, I'm making a, a statement, and some people on their deathbed, but I'm making a statement that I'm here for one purpose, and that is as part of this ba basic agreement. And, and as I said, God decided that the world can't live without me. So now I gotta figure out, it takes about 30 years, I think. Now I have to figure out, if you're lucky, I, I, <laughs> if you're lucky, you have to figure out what it is that I'm supposed to be doing here. This is a lot of work. So, so you have like your basic training, and, but, but it's, it's, that, that's what it comes down to. And, and tefillah is, is that act of subservience to HaKadosh Baruch Hu. Let's take it one step deeper in the next four minutes that we have left to us. One step deeper. It's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a pella, and maybe I'll ask the question and not even give the answer. But it's, it's astonishing to me that tefillah has 18, which is really 19 brachas. I think um, you know, I've been thinking the last few days that, that if the Achek Nessus Agdola decided this is tefillah, <laughs> like there's so many things to daven for. Uh, Shalom is that in there? Some Shalom. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe there's some Shalom in there at the end. Uh, 
nachas from the children. You know, everyone says gefen, gezunt, parnosa, nachas, gefen. Uh, just say the Shema Nasser, say clearly, you know. We do say Rafainu, but I'm saying it's, why, why do they, you know, they chose these 18 that became 19 things, which somehow are the main connectors between uh, us and Hashem, or the main areas of life, I believe. Not so much what's good for us, necessarily. That's not so much the explicit thing. So many people dab it, and they just like, you know, until Shemakaleinu, then they wake up a little bit, and then it becomes like a, you know, a big deal of Shemakaleinu, and then back to, go, go back to uh, machine mode. Uh, but the, the, what, what's really happening with the 18 tefillahs is these somehow or another, which we need to, uh, uh, we should be zochah to understand, these 18 things are the 18 parts of my carbon, yeah? Uh, they're the 18 parts of my carbon. It, it, what's interesting is that the first three brachas of Shemad Asrei, the last three brachas of Shemad Asrei are not really part of tefillah. How do I know? Because the Gemara says, I'm a Rabbi Vo, <coughs> that a person should be masadr shvacha shel makayim, that you should first, before you do tefillah, praise Hashem. You say where you came from, Avos. We came from Avraham, Yitzhak, Yaakov. Tchiyas HaMesim. <laughs> the first three brachas all the way until Atta Kadosh is praise of Hashem. The last three brachas are Haidol Hashem. The Gemara says in brachas that after you daven, you should thank Hashem and praise Hashem. Okay, now I just spent three brachas um, identifying and praising Hashem, and three brachas thanking Hashem. How many are left? How many are left? Thirteen. It was a trick, trick, trick question. <laughs> Twelve or thirteen. 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 So the whole Shemad Esrei is, is really Yud Gimel, Shuhu Echad. Yud Gimel is Gematri Echad. The whole Shemad Esrei is, there's a before, there's an after, there's a going in, there's a going out, there's Kriya Shema, Kabbalah Zalmach Shema. The Shemad Esrei is after. Isn't it ironic <laughs> that the whole Tzvilah, the whole Shemad Esrei is a carbon, and the whole carbon is subservience, I'm a nothing, I'm a nothing, and the whole thing is about me. Dafka, the part, Dafka, the part which, which is talking about Hashem, how great you are, and how the earlies recognized you, and how we have to thank you, that's not tefillah. That's the before and after of tefillah. But the, the Oybe Lifnei Amelech really is the, the Shavisi Hashem, like the Yishavit Shinikra tefillah, is 13 tefillahs in between, which is all about me. Rifa'enu, Slach Lanu, Kaper Lanu. This is all about me. It's in the plural. It's on the plural, but it's still all about you and me. <laughs> It's about mankind. What? The Shvisi Hashem Lodag Di Summit is Ma'akiv, but the word tefillah, I'm not talking about what's Ma'akiv. I'm not talking about halacha now. I'm talking about the word tefillah. Um, if, I, if, you, if, I, if I'm learning the Gemara like a Labdan, if the word tefillah refers to the 13 brachas between the first three and the last three, how could it be that the whole idea of tefillah can negate carbonus and it's all about mankind? It should all be about Hashem. Maybe you put it a little bit at the end, like Hayat Tsar, about yourself. And the answer to this is, the short answer, that we have to get to the long answer is, no, <laughs> this, this, we have it all wrong. Hashem created the world. He didn't create it to be mean. He created a, a mareches. It's going to be good. Everything is good. There, there's, nothing that I, there's nothing that God wants, we're told, than for the world to be at peace. There's nothing that God wants more than for the world to be, to people to be taking care of each other, to be, for people to be happy, for people to be healthy. <laughs> So, so if what we're saying, what we're saying, and this is such a deep thing, so simple and so deep at the same time, what we're saying during those 13 blessings is that, Hashem, you want the world to work or not? If you want the world to work, if you want me to be able to work, if you want me to be able to do my job and be in my, in my uh, whole kill, Rifa'inu, for heaven's sakes. Uh, Rifa'inu, what do you want me to do? It's like, um, you know, it would be like the, the, the head of the company, you know, my boss tells me I want you to travel to China, well, he'll give me a darn ticket. I can't do it without the ticket. And sometimes I need business class if you want me to be awake during the meeting. 
So it's not, you know, the, the more you do, the, the, the more benefit you have. So what we're saying, we're not talking about, this is what I need, this is, this is not me, me, me. It's all about the benefit package of being part of this marechet, and this is what Hashem wants, is Tov. He wants the trees to grow beautifully. He wants the fruit to come out of the ground. He wants it to rain. If you read the Chumash, this is so simple, it's so deep. If you read the Chumash, all Hashem wants is bracha. All he wants is the world to be full of bracha. All he wants for us is to be agents of bracha. So what we're davening, the main tefillah, so, so here, here is the, it's, it's so, um, so, so high and so low at the same time because the main idea of tefillah is subservience and the main subservience is benefit. Do you understand this? The, the minute, though, yes, but the minute I take myself out of the marechet, I can't ask for anything. So, yeah, yeah. So, what I'm saying is give me the tools that I need. And there's so much more to this. There's so I much don't more. don't think Hashem knows the tools we need. No, but, you, but the, the, we're, we're supposed to do a job here. What, why, why does an Eved have to say to his master that um, I'm, I'm here to serve you? Help, help me. It's not a question of what he knows. This is our job. This, this is our job as humans. He created us as humans, human beings. <laughs> so he created us as human beings. We're, we're here to be avodim. That's, that's what we're supposed to be. So this is what an avod, uh, Evan has to go, don't forget this, has to be b'machshava, dibur, and maisa. This is the dibur. So when, when we're davening Shmonasri, the 13, the Yud Gimel, <laughs> When we're davening the Yud Gimel, what we're doing is, is proclaiming subservience. We're bringing a carbon, and that's what we have to think. And the minute, I want to show you next time on Sunday, Mir Tashem, one of the great Hasidic Sherebbes, the Talmud of the Mizrit Shermagid, was the Or HaMeir. A great Gilziana Rebbe, the Or HaMeir. You come, you come across? Yeah. The, the Or HaMeir, Dafka, at the, the, if you have the Sefer, the first, I don't have it here, but the, the first um, Or HaMeir on Parshas Vayigash, this week's Parsha says that he starts off by saying we learn how to we learn we have to learn how to daven the way davening is meant to be because if not we're totally wasting our time <laughs> scary words look at our mayor i'm giving you a good buyer buck of our mayor the first piece of english i don't have to say for if you have the safer so maybe some of you we should learn these words together one paragraph where where he so sharply caustically uh, says that davening is a tzarech kavaya. Davening is a tzarech kavaya. You're bringing a carbon. Yeah, this is like goes bringing a carbon. He says, oh, I love blood. <laughs> I love fire. A lot of people love fire. I don't know why we love sitting in front of a fireplace. Anybody can explain that? Me too. I'm not uh, knocking it. I'm just saying, you know, what is it? And if you're really, really um, into it, you like to go to, you know, you chase a fire truck and watch a whole house burn down. <laughs> like, what, like, what is the, what, what is the, uh, yeah, what is the joy of, of you know? Huh? What, but what is the, we're not pyromaniacs, so why do, you, why do we light the fire when we go on vacation in, uh, in, in, uh, in Maine? <laughs> Like, what, what is... Think of it spiritual or physical. You think? Well, we're so, you know, we're so... So Moshech, no? something magical about it. What's the magical? That's the point. The name is like the It's like it's, 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 it's given to us. We left Gan Eden, so it's a big solace for us. Why? Why was a fire given to us on Moshe Shabbos? The answer is that the fire is, is subconsciously and spiritually representing life. Ishe Hashem. It's representing life. It's representing that something physical is becoming something spiritual. <coughs> that's the magic of a fire. And that's that, that, that something we all like. You light candles, even, even Goyim light candles, you know, for ambiance. Like the, 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 the candles, the fire is something physical becoming energy, heat, light. That's, that's what it's becoming, something physical. Well, it wasn't before, wax, <laughs> you know, wood. Um, it's, and, and sometimes if you get the right one, even the sense of smell, it's becoming something which is, right, it's, 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 it's coming something which is, it's going from the physical to the metaphysical. It's also something that moves, yet it's not alive. It's not alive. I'm not sure. Uh, 
and our bodies jumping are, up. Our bodies are doing that on a regular basis also. Uh, the whole, everything. Part of the definition yeah. of life is that we're, we're catabolizing, uh, you know, catabolites. And we're it's exactly a fire. It's exactly a fire. And, you know, if you look at the ancient cultures, the not Jewish ones, and even in the Jewish ones, it's all about the, the you know, the, the, the heat of the fire within, right? That's all, that's, what it's, that's, what the, that's how they understood medicine. Ancient man to understand medicine. Okay, so we, we've just begun. Tefillah L'tzarek Gavayahu. Thank you very much. Have, have a good Shabbos. Huh? Vayikra Aleph Tes. Tes. Also the Hakdaba of the Ramban, and then continues, you gotta be careful because people don't know this, continues in, in Pasuk Tes. Hakdaba of the Ramban to say Vayikra, and then Pasuk Tes. That's two questions. Number one, um, the Ramban talks about Karbakatas, but Karbakatas, Avra, Noya, Adam, none of those. those were he talks Karbukatas. about both, by the way. I just read the part about Karbakatas. Okay. So the second thing is that um, we learn from Tefillah. Every carpet he, he explains, as the whole Vayikra goes, he explains how, what, what is the sacrifice of, of, of this carbon. Like carbon tabit is one thing, carbon shult seabor is another thing, but carbon contest. He talks about putting your hands on me being, the carbon, Every, tumid, the carbon uh, tumid wasn't about that. You didn't have smichus yadayim? That's what the yadayim was there. Vidui by the carbon the car, um, tumid? The, the, the rabbi says yes. By carbon tumid also. Yeah. Okay, second question. Not the same vidui as, uh, there's always, I want to tell you something just because it reminded me that the, the, the Shabur brings that when you dive in Shvach Oledu, in Shvach Esre, you should say vidui. If you did a, a chet, a particular chet, not general no, vidui, a particular specific chet, so um, so in, it's in the in the, in the near uh, near proximity of time, you should say vidui. As a mishabur, you should be mavad to that. No, so this is the whole thing that it, or in slach lanu. So the answer is that the tefillas are connected karbonos and the shmak. Listen, shmak kolenu is the vidui of the carbon. You get it? So that's really the, the, the brach of Shmach Oleinu is, God, put all of those tefillas, just listen to me already. No, the Shmach Oleinu, the exact coil of tefillah, the, of Machshav and Dibur and Maisa, the exact coil, Dibur, is vidui. There is nothing else with vidui. That's all, the, that's all that he said. Except that he said, Chaper la'am cha Yisrael. The coin was like, Chaper la'am cha Yisrael. And now, this is what we need to learn. Once that vidui is done, once we become a kli, so that we can get all the brachas. You just added the stima, but it's it's so beautiful that Shma Koledu is gufa, the coil of the vidui. And that's the Mishabur brings this. I think maybe from the Rashash, so early have, Rashash. Have a deal there. Have a deal you find the. Uh, the vidui, there's another bit by Parnosa. It's also in the Shma Koledu insert. At the right, so you, you should do like Rav, Rav Salavechik and cross it out. <laughs> Or something. You'd be better to say that at the end. Uh, say it okay. afterwards. Afterwards. <laughs> yeah, nachot. Nachot. In the center of the of Rav Salavechik, I'm not that I'm such a bucky in Rav Salavechik, I'm not, but uh, the center of Rav Salavechik that they just put out has none of that, nothing like that. It's completely... I have the vidui? By Elikai Tsar. So, so... Oh, he has, he says he could say vidui, yes. I said something. There are two parrots also find Shmachlin in the footnote. One's Pardasa, one's for Banu. So for vidui. Uh, uh, the, the vidui. So the vidui also just the three words, and a particular chet. Because I don't know what it says in there, but uh, yeah, I never, no, I said, my sitter doesn't say it. But yeah, I, 30, 40 words. No, okay, right. okay, so say 30, 40 words. But, so, so but not, a, not a place to dive for personal needs, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, yeah. so that, that you would put in Shmachalinu. So the, 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 yes, uh, yes. But not the, the 